Webheads, welcome to 2022's Top 10 Comic Book Covers. Fans, this is week number 13. Guys, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm your host, Mike Spiderslayer, always helping you make decisions of what comic books to buy. Guys, before we get started with this week's countdown, I just want to give a quick shout out to Mutant Beaver Comics. Mutant Beaver Comics is a global leader specializing in exclusive variants with over 900 exclusives in their store. They ship worldwide on a daily basis. Their mandate is to offer the widest selection of exclusive variants on the planet along with top-notch customer service. If you guys enter promo code CORNER10, and not only can you save 10% on your first purchase, but every other purchase after that. So don't miss out on those exclusives, MutantBeaverComics.com. Okay guys, so remember, every vote counts. This doesn't end just in one a week. This is the year-long series where you guys get to vote each week. And by the time we get to the end of the year, yes, you will have that final say on which comic book cover gets that all-important title of comic book cover of the year. So before we kick off week 13 we have to find out who won week 12 and who moves on to the next round will that winner wound up going to gunslinger spawn issue six that brett booth main cover it had tons of detail where we had clown eating gunslinger spawn pretty intense cover right there you guys loved it so congratulations to the gunslinger he moves on to the second round all right guys so let's kick off this countdown officially now with number 10 and number 10 it goes to Batman Beyond the White Knight issue one this is done by Sean Murphy this is the main cover I have personally fallen in love with Sean Murphy's artwork ever since he did titles like Tokyo Ghost and The Wake. If you guys ever read those books, uh, if not, they are absolutely phenomenal. So I say go out there and pick those books up. But Sean Murphy is a wonderful artist. He's got his own unique style. And this cover here is awesome as it just... It gives you a little taste of what's to come in this up-and-coming series as you get to see this version of Batman Beyond. You get to see uh, Batman in the background, which he is in this series. Um, you just get to see some soldiers there. It's just you see a little bit of everything, and I'm really highly anticipating this book. It's a pretty cool cover, so if this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote in the comment section below. Guys, remember a couple rules here. No more than one vote per person. Okay, and you can't thumbs up someone else's vote. I mean, you can, but it's not going to count as a vote. You must write it in the comments section of the video for your vote to count. And if you don't like any of the top 10 comic book covers I provide here for you today, you guys can always write in your own comic book cover and it could start to trend and overtake the other top 10. Hasn't happened recently, but it has happened before. Let's move on here. Quick second, got to drink a drink. Let's move on here to number nine. And number nine goes to Spider-Woman issue 21. This is the Nakayama Carnage Forever variant. Uh, there's a lot of these Carnage Forever variants out there because of, I guess, Spider-Man's 60th anniversary or maybe it's Carnage's 30th anniversary. I don't know. Something like that right but nevertheless the spider woman cover is absolutely awesome uh i love seeing like a jessica drew symbiote and you get to see all her tentrals coming out at you and she's got these creepy hands and she's like yeah, like this and she's got hair flying all over the place creepy smirk you can't ever go wrong with symbiote covers they always look badass but which one is always your favorite i think is the is the true question here so if this one is your favorite let's make sure you vote for it all right let's move on to number eight and number eight goes to the amazing spider-man this is issue 93 this is the sandoval variant so this cover is pretty cool. Now, you're probably going to be like, Mike, there's some nice covers out there. There's that Gleason cover. There's got that homage to the black cat where Ben Riley is kissing Jessica, uh, Jessica, gee whiz, um, Mary Jane. 
And, uh, but would have, would, would have made that cover awesome would have been if Peter was in the background watching Ben Riley kissing Mary Jane. That would have made it a very cool cover. Uh, anyway, the thing is, is that I just wanted to do something a little bit different, give this artist a little bit more credit, because when you look at this cover here, you just get to see Spider-Man up close and personal, web swinging through the city, and I love how the, the webs are like in your face. So, pretty cool looking cover. If this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote for it. All right. Coming in at number seven, it's another Francisco Mantina cover, but it's not Batman this time. It goes to DC vs. Vampires, issue six. Um, this time he's got Nightwing on there as a vampire. The bats are flying all around him. And is it me or does Nightwing look like Morbius here? I mean, it's, it's so similar. It's not even funny. I'll probably put up a picture side by side of how similar they look right now. But I thought it was a pretty awesome looking cover. If this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote for it. All right, moving on to number six. We have... Ghost Rider issue two. This is the one in 25 Daniel Acuna variant. I love this cover as we get to see a Ghost Rider here, you know, driving through the highways of hell. It's really just a highway. I just wanted to add that to it. And he's like flamed on and he's got his chain all over the place. And I love how you get to see this cityscape in the background. It's an awesome cover, man. Ghost Rider covers. They're all really cool, right? It's like kind of like kind of like the Carnage Forever variants. It's like which one is just your favorite Ghost Rider cover? So if this one is your favorite, though, let's make sure you vote for it. All right, now we're heading into the top five. We do have another Wolverine cover, and I like this one because it's got Wolverines on it actual Wolverines and this is X-Men Unlimited Latitude issue one Lapacino variant here we got freaking Wolverine all buff without his shirt on it's like I'm gonna kick your ass bud and he's got freaking Wolverines <laughs> running side by side with him in the snow you know it's pretty cool you get to see the pine trees in the background and uh, the snow's flying all over the place uh, and it's cool man I like it it's just it just caught my eye I don't know what it was I think it was the pack of wolverines i thought that that's what made the cover for me how often do you get to see just wolverines on a comic book cover it doesn't happen too often right so i had to pick it if it's your favorite let's vote for it all right coming in at number four uh this one was a nice cover sensational wonder woman special this is issue one um cover b done by Jugian Jugian Yoon variant. I don't know if I say the name right, but uh, it's a gorgeous cover of Wonder Woman in this battle stance, which looks like she's having like ice or crystals thrown at her. Her facial expression here may not be the best. She just is like, you know, uh, I don't know. She doesn't look like she's intent to do battle. And then you get to see the shadow behind her. Someone is approaching her. So not sure who that character is. But the way Wonder Woman personally is drawn here, I like. I love how she's holding the shield, the sword. She's got the cloak. I like when she wears the cloak. Her hair's hanging down. And uh, I love the muscle definition in, in their inner thighs. Like, it's just, just not like stick legs or, you know, thin legs. I, I like that. So, yeah, really cool looking cover. I just wish there was a little bit better facial expression in there. So if this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote for it. All right, so now we're moving on to the actual top three here. And number three winds up going to Shadow War Alpha. This is issue one. Uh, this is the main cover done by Victor Bogdanovich. Uh, he did the artwork, I think, in Detective Comics for a while. And then he did the artwork in the Wolverine series for a while as well. And this cover is gorgeous. If you love to look at a lot of things on a cover, this is the cover for you. This is going to be your number one pick. Look at all the detail that goes into this cover. I mean, it is awesome. You got Deathstroke, you got Talia, you got Batman, you got Damien on there, you got Roz on there, and you got Bats on there. You got just all kinds of different things. And 
every single one of those characters is rich in detail. I love the colors, it pops. And I'm looking forward to this whole Shadow War thing. You know, I want to see what it's all about. So I'm highly anticipating it. But if you like the cover, let's make sure you vote. And it's kind of funny how dark Batman's face is in this cover, though. All right, moving on to number two. And number two goes to another Carnage Forever uh, cover. This one is Silk Issue 3. The In Hyuk Lee Carnage Forever variant. Uh, I love this cover. I love the background. We'll talk about that first. How it starts from this this fade from black to red, um, and then you get to see Silk possessed by the symbiote or the Carnage symbiote. And look at her arms. She's wielding the axe, which looks really cool. Her costume is white. You get to see her transforming into the carnage symbiote and uh, look at her eyes like she's very intense their claws at the end of her hands uh, look at the actual muscle definition on her like in her arms you get to see that she's she's not like very bulky but she's very thin and muscular right really cool looking cover i love how this symbiote is trailing behind her as well really pops i like this cover a lot if this one is your favorite well, let's vote for it all right, so what's number one? Well, number one is a book that you know, I have a soft spot to it. Maybe I'm a little bit biased, but this is Something is Killing the Children, issue 21, the one in, one in 50 incentive variant from Jenny Frizen. I like this cover. There's a lot of other variants when it comes to this book, but Jenny Frizen is always a wonderful artist who knows how to draw eyes and always attracts the reader to the character's eyes, right? And what makes this cover really cool is there's other variants out there with um, Erica Slaughter, but she's covered with her mask. Here we get to see her not wear her mask, which I think is actually really neat because you get to see the emotion in her eyes here she's wide open bright green eyes she's tearing up she's very emotional right now why is she emotional don't know you actually get to see her mouth uh which you don't see in the comic book so for to see her full face here is pretty cool and she's holding her little totem uh with her creature inside of it and whatnot i i thought this cover was absolutely gorgeous from a facial perspective so that's why this wound up becoming my number one pick of the week so there you guys have it. There are my top 10. Looking forward to hearing what, what, what is your number one pick of the week. And guys, always thank you so much for your participation in this series. It doesn't work without you guys. So always the more votes, the better. Tell your friends. Tell everybody about it so they can vote on their favorite comic book cover of the week. Guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly... Keep reading your comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Bye.